Good morning. Welcome to Cremorne Gardens on the banks of the River Thames um, on a really beautiful day. Today, I am lucky enough to have Helen Benavides by my side. Um, Helen is an old friend of mine from Brazil. She's also a famous reporter from there, having worked for Globo, amongst other stations. Um, she also enabled me, through an introduction, to bring my dear friend, Leah Sophia, over to London to play for us all in Trafalgar Square in 2016 on Brazil Day. So, Helen, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, Helen, so let's go to the uh, straight away and talk about food. I, I want, just for a change, right? <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask you what it was about British food that you liked the most. What I like the most is fish and chips. <laughs> that is like so many people say this. <laughs> it's true. That's good. And why is it so delicious, Charles? Well, I think this has been a fish that has been uh, evolved over much many years. But really, it's about the batter. Uh, you need special beer batter that's lovingly pasted over the fish. Also, I'm afraid the English, despite having some of the best fish in the world, are terrified of bones. So fish and chips is a fillet of cod or perhaps even better haddock. And then the chips, lovingly deep fried. Uh, of course, nowadays we've learned from the French and the Belgians about how to properly fry um, uh, chips. But th th it's, it's, a, it's an easy fish. It soaks up the beer that English people love to drink. Uh -huh. So it's an ideal having had too much to drink kind of kind of food. I also do like the Sunday roasts. Yes. Uh, I don't know the story behind the Sunday roast, but uh, maybe you can tell me. Well, all I can say is that the Sunday roast compared to the Brazilian Sunday roast, or let's, let's say daily roast, is a very sorry state of affairs <laughs> because the Brazilian meat is so much better. Um, this was a treat that the uh, lords of the manor would, you know, they'd have uh, lamb or they'd have beef and, and this would be a big treat every Sunday uh, in a way to thank people for having gone to church. Um, so, okay. And the pies. I do like the pies. Very good. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that you like, uh, like it, the food here. Of course, it's interesting what a crossroads England is. Uh, having been a colonial power, I guess you've probably seen some influence from far away, right, Helen, in terms of food? Yes, exactly. I, as I moved to London and I had the chance of tasting food from Thailand and from India. They are more spicy, yes. but it was the first time I tasted that kind yeah. of food and it's delicious well that that's great um so i think you know we, we should mention of course that we never colonized thailand <laughs> <laughs> we did uh in india but but uh, and uh, certainly indian food here is is tremendously strong as is cantonese food uh from, from hong kong Good. so <laughs> well now let's uh Turn the tables on you, okay. Charles. Right. Now I am the interviewer. Okay. Please uh, tell me, why do you love Brazil so much? How did you discover Brazil? It was really by accident. I think it was almost divine. Um, I was studying Spanish and French. I really enjoyed French, enjoyed Spanish. But the French, although beautiful language, it had these poets were very atheistic, very anti-God, and I am religious myself. And so I really was finding this very frustrating. So I went to my professor and I said, look, I'm not enjoying this. Um, have you got an idea? And he said, yes, take up Portuguese. You're going to love it. So I said, topo. I will. Uh, or I would have said topo if I, had I been able to speak Portuguese at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Topo. So anyway, first lesson I went into, um, I, I went into this um, class about Brazilian modernist poetry. And there was a Brazilian declaiming Manuel Bandeira. Funnily enough, it was a poem called Desencanto, which was exactly the opposite of what I was feeling. Okay. And this language was so glorious that I decided from that moment on, 
to go to Brazil, at the moment I finish my studies, envelop myself in the sound of your beautiful language and experience everything that Brazil had to offer. And thanks to Lloyds Bank International, I did. <laughs> and then I discovered the food. So what do I like about the food? Clearly, again, it's to do with influences from other countries. Very much influences from Africa. I'm thinking immediately of Bahia. Mm. Bahia is the absolute headquarters of Brazil. It used to be the capital. And there you find Mukeka. Mukeka with the palm oil, the dende, absolutely fantastic. You'll see on my channel, I did a squid Mukeka earlier on. I did a feijoada. It's those earthy African flavors that are so strong. I also love the fish, the sweet water fish from the Amazon. Because the Amazon is so strong, it fights against, these fish fight against the current. So these fish like pirarucu mm. uh, uh, get so muscular that they, are, they taste just as good as saltwater fish. It's just tremendous. And then of course, you have the meat, the picanha. But I think I'm running out of time here because yeah. I could talk forever about this. <laughs> I <Ellen. know. laughs> so I want to thank you all for, for listening to this and, and, and you most particularly, Helen, for coming. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>